I go to the movies on a bright sunny day. It's kind of cloudy. It was raining earlier, but that is okay. Because you can go to movies no matter what the weather is. Yeah. So, uh, I go to a movie and, uh, I, I was, I didn't know anything about this movie. It's the scary movie. And, um, it, uh, like, I haven't seen no trailers or anything about this. I had no idea this existed. I was just going on the websites for the different theaters and was like, oh, this one's playing. It's not even playing at the normal theaters I go to, but I was like, oh, we'll go and see it. And this movie, it was called The Call. Yeah, it is a scary movie. I think I saw something on the, the poster thing that said, uh, from the director's Final Destination or something like that. But it isn't like that movie at all. This movie is a little a little interesting. It's uh it's super eighties. It's like this is a perfect example of an eighties horror movie. But it's it's not a they didn't do a bad job. It's just a this could have been released in the eighties and it would have been fine. It's, it's kind of amazing. It was like down to everything. Everything they did. It, uh... Right down to having people that are almost 30 play teenagers. <laughs> These people that were supposed to be in high school were so old. They didn't even try saying they were in college or anything. It was just... Wow. <laughs> but the soundtrack and the vibe of the movie, all of it. It was 80s. I don't think it's a remake or anything. I don't know. But it was... Just on that alone, it's like... That's kind of a amazing thing to get that down. I don't remember seeing a movie exactly like this. I didn't even see any trailers for this. So I don't know what would be a spoiler and what wouldn't be. But it's based around these kids... Uh, some stuff happens so they end up to where they're in this sort of this game where you had to stay on a phone call for a minute and if you do that you get money so it's uh <laughs> so there's these sequences while they're on the phone call where something really scary happens and during those segments, it was extremely like the dream sequences of Nightmare on Elm Street sort of things. And they're really well done. It was really creepy. It kind of got a little... I wish they would have varied up the colors. Because it's basically it's just red and black, kind of what goes on in these sequences. But the music they had going on and the way they filmed it is like this weird nightmare vision you know sort of thing it was a lot like the nightmare on elm street like sequences in nightmare on elm street which was cool but it's it's uh it's kind of it's kind of weird it's like so there's these two characters that are like an elderly couple and they're the best actors in this the people that have playing the kids even though they're not kids they're not that good they're not that interesting, you know. But there's these two older characters. And and they did a really good job. Unfortunately, the thing is, is that the movie, it felt a little too long. Especially the beginning, where they're setting this up. But that's the part with the best acting. You know, because it has, has these these two uh, older actors and they're doing a really good job you know but it's just like once they got into the dream sequence stuff I was like oh this is what the movie actually is but I was I sat there feeling like man because there's four people it's like if they're gonna do these dream sequences for four people this movie's gonna take forever <laughs> Because it felt so long in the beginning. <laughs> like setting it up. 
and it, it it wasn't very fast paced once it got into that you know i mean there was some some scary you know some sequences you know where you're kind of getting chased down scary hallways and stuff like that but it wasn't but it wasn't like you know it didn't make the movie any faster <laughs> sort of thing so i was just like man the movie the movie felt long i guess is all all i'm getting at and it seems like the beginning could have been trimmed down a bit but that would be unfortunate because that's the best acting those are the best characters <laughs> and you gotta think that if they're setting this up for for sequels those would be the characters that are that that would uh, continue on the story. They kind of look familiar. It could just be because they've been working actors for a long time. So I've seen them in a bunch of different things, you know, as like little side characters or whatever. I was like, but they did a really good job. Anyway. <laughs> so the music was was very 80s like to a point where it kind of seemed like okay i i i understand <laughs> what what you're doing you want to make it feel like an 80s horror movie you've succeeded so it kind of got a little bit too much like they kind of overused the the creepy music there could have been parts of the movie that didn't have to have so much of the creepy music. <laughs> Specifically when they weren't in the dream sequences. Or in inside whatever they were. Hallucinations or whatever whatever it was that was going on. Because <laughs> they just had that music going on. Just, I mean, there's a part when they, they went to like a carnival. And there's a part where they're at the house where this takes place before where where it's where the game or the the wager or whatever it is is being set up for them that that is just a really long segment <laughs> of the movie but i don't know i mean if you like 80s horror movies this is a great example of it this could this totally could have been released in the 80s and it would have been it would have been perfect. You know, it would have fit right in. But then again, maybe because there were so many of those movies back then, it would have just got lost in the shuffle. But, I don't know. I think the maker of this did a really good job of setting up that vibe and that feel. I think, I think he was successful at creating... Uh, the movie he wanted to make. It looks like a successful vision taken to completion. So good job for that guy. Or that team of people. Or however this the making of this worked out. But I've seen zero marketing about this. I didn't see any trailers before it. I didn't see even any like online ads or anything like that. It was just random movie thrown out there I'm thinking that if it was a normal year this movie probably would have ended up straight on you know Netflix or Hulu just just straight to the streaming services but because theaters are are hungry for content I guess it's got a release but it's not a bad movie it's nothing groundbreaking either it's just <laughs> It's just, uh, but it, it 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 didn't feel boring or average, you know. I don't. Know. So, I liked it, you know. And horror movie people should probably go see this one, because they didn't do an awful job at it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my thoughts on the movie that is entitled. The call. Yeah.